Whoa, no way. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm WT Felix, and welcome back to part two of like director's commentary for my Let's Play Paper Mario the Origami King. So, of course, we're here in the underground. Hope we meet Sans at some point, but not actually, though. Um, so, um... Oh, God, what was it? Um, so, this is Paper Mario the Origami King, um, the sixth game in the franchise, um, at least in 2020, for Nintendo Switch. Um, so, before this, there was so the first game was Paper Mario for Nintendo 64. Um, as you can see, we skipped that battle because uh, we, we can just skip all the battles because movie magic. That's what happens when you edit anything on YouTube. And then Mario does the "It's a living" you know, with, with that shrug. Um, anyways, so oh god, what was it? Um, yeah. So circling back, um, Paper Mario for the N64. That was the first game in the franchise. Um, then there was Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Um, I don't remember what console that one was for, but I think that was in 2004. Then Super Paper Mario for the Nintendo Wii, released in 2007. Uh, then Paper Mario Sticker Star for the 3DS, uh, released in 2011. That one was absolutely horrible. Um... Then there was Color Splash for the Wii U in 2016, um, and now Origami King for the Nintendo Switch. Um, the reason why Sticker Star was absolutely so terrible was three main components. No fun partners like the first two Paper Mario games. Um, Difficulty spikes for no reason, and the worst part of all, the battle system. Ugh, it was so bad. Um, granted, I've never played it, so I'm just going off uh, on what someone said on YouTube. Uh, Mr. Nathaniel Bandy, go check him out. And go check out, I guess, his brother, Bathaniel Nandy? Um... They're, they're pretty funny, but sometimes not family-friendly. Um, so, check at your own risk, guys. I don't know. Um, so anyway, we're in the castle. Uh, Luigi stuck in the wall in the top left. Um, so, but, but like, imagine if it was coming from uh, the... Uh, imagine if, if Luigi was just in the hat. Um, so, yeah, just more... Uh, stupid dialogue because heh <laughs> you know and then get that thing smash the pottery and then use the thing to get uh, giant arms then go over there and then do that thing uh, then uh, vibe check and vibe check uh, and now he's back and then we immediately abandoned him because Mario is a horrible brother. Um, so, we have to go to Red Streamer now, uh, and then we'll get to our first uh, boss fight, so... Um, yeah, there was... There's just so much weird stuff in, in, in these games, and also extremely bad puns. So we have to knock this Goomba off his perch, and then destroy him with a hammer, and then we get money from that, we get to, we get to steal his wallet, um, and then it creates our thousand-fold arm circle where we can save this blue toad, um, <coughs> uh, excuse me, uh, so there was a bunch of stuff there, he only gives me two coins, rip off, um, so... I forgot that soon we'll get the iron boots, um, and other stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't care about the Microsoft stuff. Anyways, um, 
So, the reason why we can't use special weapons all the time, except for our default boots and hammer, is because they break, like in traditional, like, uh, video game fashion, like Legend of Zelda. Uh, our weapons can, in fact, break. Ugh. Oh, god, I'm sorry, guys. Um, now we get that confetti bag. And then... Ugh. Go to the save part, and then we uh, vibe check this toad because we can. We can do that with hammers, so there's stuff there. Um, oh god! And still, I I played this game on my own fully. Um, unfortunately, there's not any post game except for just saving toads and filling in uh, the blank holes. Um, in, in, in the everywhere, so there's really no post game in this. Um, so, you know, uh, it's probably gonna be a pretty quick series. I mean, doing the Let's Play along with the director's commentary, I don't know if, if we're gonna do, I don't know if we're gonna release both the Let's Plays and the, um, you know, uh, director's commentary. Honestly, I think we're probably just gonna do the director's commentary because with our first uh, Paper Mario recording, it was like, well, we split it, thankfully. Um, the first part was about two and a half hours, uh, and then around another two-ish hours um, to get that one. And now we Save this yellow toad who's talking a bunch of golf. Uh, we also saved those red toads who were stuck in Smash Invitations. Uh, Paper Mario for Smash when Sakurai. I mean, I know all the characters are released for Smash Ultimate, but in, but in the next Smash game, Paper Mario when. Come on, Sakurai. You're, your people are waiting for this, bro. Anyways, uh, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Masahiro Sakurai is the creator of Super Smash Brothers. So now we just gonna I'm just gonna go up to that tower thing. Um Yay, we get the iron boots. Now we can stomp on people again. Um so there's a, there's just so much good stuff in this game. And and, and the dialogue is actually pretty good despite being um by being like 90% of it being extremely bad puns. So, and now we gotta go to the thing, this Monty Mole who, uh, <laughs> Doug, I don't want a rusted out El Camino. I, I, I want a Toyota Prius, man. Come on. Um, 10,000 coins. No, dude. No takers, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Half price, maybe? No, half price, no. No, no, no. I'm, I ain't doing that. Uh, I'm look. I'm looking to sell, you're looking to buy, and frankly, if you keep, if you keep on pushing your luck, Mr. Mole, you're looking to die. <laughs> um, uh, 2,000 coins. Absolutely not. And 1,000 coins. That's what I like to see, buddy. Just, just go down to the absolute bare minimum, and then, and then get the item to move on to the next thing. Now we gotta fight this uh, uh, big Goomba. Big, spelled B E E J, B E E G. Um. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta wait for him to walk the other direction, and we gotta. Wait for him. And yeet. Um, and now we, uh, I, I don't know what this, I, 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 I was gonna say something, but I thought, eh, maybe not, because we, we run a family friendly. Um, now we use the, the, the big arms again. Uh, dry bone gives us a shell stone because he's, uh, he's not dead, but close to dead. Um, so, anyways, yellow shellstone, yay, I'm so happy. 
and then three, two, one, thwomps almost kill us, and then walk back the other direction. Um, and now it's blocked, so we hit the tree and get star. <sighs> kill all these thwomps because we can, and I don't know. We 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 can just do that because we hate people. Like thwomps aren't people, but <laughs> you know. Um. Anyway, so this dirt thing is here, so now we can't go into the tower, which is where we have to... Before we do that, we have to go into the boss fight. Um, so, yeah, we have to do that. Then we're going to go over here, and we have to play soccer with some uh, giant shy guys. Um, so, yeah, we just got to knock them on their butt. And then, yeet, get the red shell stone, bam, and it fences us off, it fences us into our death. So, just like in a traditional fighting movie, um, you have to, uh, we, we, we take them on one at a time, because that's how fighting movies be. Like Karate Kid, Mortal Kombat, uh, I don't know what other fighting game movies. Comment down below. Um, uh, so another time. So since we're about, I think halfway through this video, um, j just want to remind you guys to like, comment, subscribe, um, uh, ring that bell uh, to stay up to date on uh, Nintendo. Uh, check out my Smash Bros as well as Splatoon 3 content. I know not a lot of people have been watching. My Splatoon 3 content, but please do that. It's a very popular game. It was released uh, almost two months ago now. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, fishing mini game! Yay! I've been trained from Animal Crossing for the last two months! <sighs> Look at me! Now, now we gotta get that chonky fish because, um, uh, He'll give us the orb. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Jaws. Uh, I think 1977, 78. I don't know. Um. So yeah, yay! We got blue shell stone. Whoop de doo. Now we go up to the opening. Um. Now we gotta go that, as well as that. Uh, plus that, and that equals that. Um. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, of course, it's a doorway. I mean, after all, the ancient scripture said, after collecting the five gems of glass, you must enter through the turtle's cave entrance. You thought I was going to make... Uh, you, you thought I was going to say a bad word, didn't you? We run a family-friendly channel here, guys. Thank you very much. <sighs> what, Olivia? What are we looking at? Oh, it's... We can go inside Jabu Jabu's belly. All my Zelda Ocarina of Time veterans, please, uh, p please know that reference. Um, Ocarina of Time. Uh, that's where I think Young Link came from in Smash Bros. Um, by the way, I hope this doesn't jinx us, but I feel like we haven't seen any full soldiers in a while yet. I wonder where they could be, Olivia. Anyway, we're past that fight now. And we gotta get that thing. Uh, destroy the Koopa. And then... Uh, it's puke confetti all over that stump thing. Um, and then we go over here. Get the shiny boots. Let's go. And then we go back up here. Um, so, let's go over here. Um, the reason why I don't jump over these is because my jump is too low, so I have to wait for these things to uh, go one by one. Uh, so, we gotta wait it out for a couple seconds, and go. <laughs> anyway, uh, secret entrance in here. We go up there, get some coins along the way, and we, first we gotta um, equip these things, so, we're gonna do that, 
and then spray confetti all over this hole. Um, yeet. And then hit that uh, hit, hit thing, get the coin, uh, save state. Um, anyway, we hit that thing. Uh, that releases a Koopa Troopa, so uh, we um, so you you might have thought that that uh, hammer killed him. Uh, no, we we actually just went into a battle and we skipped ahead because we don't want to waste all your battery life. So uh, anyway, just damage boost. Um, and then go over there, do that thing. Bam! Get the confetti bag. Um, you use a mushroom because we want to be as safe as possible when adventuring. And then... Go. <laughs> Janky hitboxes in this game, may I mention. But, like, that fire definitely should have hit me, but it didn't. And then go in the hole. Um, so then we just stay in there. And then we exit out on the other side. And then save again. Um... And go over here, damage boost, bam. Ah, no, it's going to crush me, no. And we just got to fit in the hole, because we do. And then it starts a chain reaction, and that rolls all the way down. Bam, it crushes things, rocks fall from the ceiling. And we get a heart container, but not actually, because that's from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, this is a max up heart, I think. And it gives us... It increases our max HP to 20, so now we have 70 total health. Now we can take, uh, uh, now, now, now we can take a, more, now we can take more damage, instead of just one-shot killing, uh, instead of, instead of these enemies just one-shot KOing, except they don't actually, though, um, so we gotta peel this tape off or whatever. That op that goes up, and now uh, we go inside Jabu Jabu, just like in Ocarina of Time, which I said before. So now we just gotta. Oh my God, <sighs> our neighbors have such annoying dogs. I don't know if you can hear them barking. It's annoying. <sighs> Anyways. Um, uh, also let me know down in the comments, are you a dog or cat person? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm team cat all the way. Um, what's that? Uh, I don't know. Ah, I'm gonna die, no! And that's how Mario died. <laughs> Big explosion. Uh, oh no! Oh, I'm not, oh man. You know, for being paper, Mario uh, definitely falls very fast. Um, anyway, this is a velamental, not elemental, though. So, uh, boss fight time. It's gonna get a quick sip Mountain Dew here, so we can do that. All right. And a hyper boost of caffeine. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Mountain Dew, though. Although if it was, I'd probably be a millionaire. <laughs> so, uh, so, so Mountain Dew, if you want to sponsor me, just kidding. I don't have enough subscribers subscribers to start monetizing my content. Um, just another reason for you guys to subscribe so that someday I can finally uh, monetize my content and stuff happens. Um, so, and, and, and the cycle is like, when you subscribe, uh, I'll get, once I have enough subscribers, I'll get money, which I can use to buy video games, which means more content on the channel. Um, which means hopefully more people will watch my content and then subscribe, and then I get more money, and the cycle continues, and it's beautiful. Uh, we did speed up this uh, 
thing quite a bit, so we just beat up this boss fight quite a bit, so um, that's why it's a little bit faster. Um, uh, now spin the ring. Now press A. Oh wow, I pressed A on my own. Imagine that, Olivia. Now I'm gonna smash in its arm. Thank God it's reaction time of maple syrup. <sighs> Let's go, Poggers. Can we get some Pogs in the comments? <laughs> uh, by the way, my final Smash video, um, it has been racking up the views. Um, but uh, on, but also just subscribe because why wouldn't you? You know, you just get to see more dumb video game content on, on the internet, just like pretty much every other person on YouTube. <sighs> um, so, I just wanted to give a quick shout-out to some uh, YouTubers who, uh, without them, I would not be on YouTube today. So, I just want to give them a quick shout-out. Uh, go check them out. Some of them aren't family-friendly, though, so be advised. Uh, Failboat, uh, Jmoji, GG Gabriel Gaming, Firus. Um, uh, also, go check out their podcast, Mouthfuls. Uh, it's also not for kids. Um, so, again, advise at your own risk. Or, I don't know. Um, Doug Doug, Little Z, um, oh man, um, Octoboy, Hackerling, um, uh, also go check out Markiplier, he's pretty funny, um, he's, uh, s some of his content also isn't for kids, um, go check out some other people, The Odd One's Out, uh, one of my favorite animators, SMG4, um, uh, Shockhat734, um, I, I can just keep going, but honestly, we're getting close to the end of the video, so I should probably stop and, and get to the actual boss fight. Um, Shiny Hammer is smash its tail open. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, he does that. Um, <sighs> oh, it's about to go Super Saiyan. Alright. Thousand fold arms. Whoa! No way, Olivia. We can do that. Th we can do that thing where we get stuff and and, and other stuff. Um. Uh, uh, grab. Who's a good boy? Who's a good turtle? Not you. <laughs> Mario. Uh, wait. Before you go, Super Saiyan. Uh, Da 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 da! Yeet! Let's go, Poggers. Pog, pog, pog. Um, 1300 coins for doing that. And now it turns into, uh, a book. So, it, it, it turns into a bibliofold. So, now we can. So, now Olivia can learn to be the Earth Elemental and essentially go Super Saiyan. Um. Kame ha me ha Uh I am a total weeb. Uh, it, 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 it it's so good to be a weeb. Um Whoa no way ha, ha, ha. Ha. That's a reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, Jotaro, Dio. <laughs> yeah. And and like I just want to say for this next uh, uh, wait hold on, I was gonna wait for her to go Super Saiyan again. Um, at at, at this particular freeze frame, doesn't it look like Mario's just like, hey, can I have a cheese for her, bro? Like, Olivia, in the Earth Elemental form, just looks like a straight-up cheeseburger, and I love it. it, it it's like that part from uh, Cloudy with a Chance Meatballs, where, where the food machine says, CHEESEBURGER! Um, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. Um, 